Good to be back. I've been traveling in Turkey and seeing all kinds of different things that uh, remind us of where the Apostle Paul was and the early churches were and some of the sites that help us to get a, a grounded sense of what being a Christian today is. We need that, that sense of being grounded, that sense of being real and true and authentic. The season of Lent begins tomorrow with Ash Wednesday, February 18th. We start this season with that literal grounding, the sign of the ashes made in the cross on our foreheads. That's an ancient sign of repentance, an ancient sign of humility, an ancient sign of mortality and death. As we think about these things, we're well prepared to journey to Easter. The season of Lent is um, all about preparation for Easter. Really, that's its main purpose. The word Lent has ancient uh, English and Germanic roots. It comes from what we would have as the word lengthen. It comes from the, the time of year when the amount of daylight each day lengthens. That we would call spring. During spring is when people who are farmers or gardeners get ready for the new life that's to come. They get ready to plant. They till the soil. They dig up the stuff that the cat buried over the winter. They dig up all of the stuff that shouldn't be there. They remove the dead plants, the dead things that would keep growth from happening. They choose the, the seeds that they want to plant and they anticipate and hope for the new life that's to come. That's a perfect metaphor for what Lent is for the Christian. We dig up the dead stuff in our lives. We get rid of all of the stuff that doesn't belong there. We plant the seeds of God's word and we prepare to experience the new fruit of, of life that comes as God's people nourished and strengthened by the word and the spirit. Lent starts Wednesday. The first Sunday in Lent, this coming Sunday, the 22nd of February, uh, is a Sunday that we look at a couple of things, one of which we saw recently. The, um, in the first chapter of Mark's Gospel, we see Jesus being baptized. We see Jesus giving the essence of his ministry. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the good news. We'll focus a lot on that word repent. That's a core part of Lent. Looking realistically at ourselves and sorting out what it is we need to change. What doesn't belong there? What doesn't fit? The text continues with Jesus immediately being taken off into the wilderness for 40 days to be tempted and tested by Satan. The word 40, 40 days or 40 years is kind of a significant keystone in scripture. 40 years was typically the span of someone's life. It was the time that the Israelites spent wandering in the wilderness as Moses led them out of slavery into freedom in the promised land. Harking to our Old Testament lesson this week from Genesis chapter 9, it's the amount of time that Noah and his family and the two by two animals spent on the ark waiting for the floodwaters to, to reside. That is a key to all of what we go through in Lent. This 40 days is meant to be a time of cleansing, a time going back to the waters of our baptism, back to the time when the old Adam, the old Eve was drowned and the new person is reborn. What does that mean? What do we need to get rid of? What needs to change? We'd like to have you join us on our Lenten journey this year. Again, our Ash Wednesday service begins tomorrow on February 18th at 7 p.m. Subsequent Wednesdays on, uh, in the season of Lent, we have our soup suppers at 6 p.m., a great time for fellowship. 
And then at 7 p.m. we'll continue our Lenten series of preaching and teaching, looking at the parables of Jesus and seeing how they apply directly to that word repent in our gospel lesson for this coming Sunday. I'll put the lesson verses below uh, the text and the video for this week. Please use them in your devotional life. Please take a moment to look through them each day. Think about what does this mean? Prepare yourself to hear the message on Sunday because God is speaking to you. There are things in your life that are damaging to you that need to be changed. Do not be afraid to do that. Open your heart and your mind to what Jesus is calling you to do and to be. God accepts you just like you are, but he does not leave you that way. He empowers us to change. Blessings and peace. Thank you for being a part of our ministry here at Trinity Lutheran. Amen.